think about Tifa Lopez. You know, in the past, um, T.O. mentioned him, T.O. and his father mentioned fighting Regis Progray, saying we want Regis Progray next. And then it was all bullshit. You know, they, they were just pretty much trying to really get clout off of Regis' name because they were going up to 140. You know, Regis is one of the one of the, uh, the elite boxers at 140 pounds. And they asked him, you know, how, how do you assess Tia Fimo? You know, he thinks Tia was mentally broken, bro. And I just talked about this recently. I've said this in the past. What happened to him outside the ring, you know, with his, his personal family life and those things, took a mental toll on Tia Fimo Lopez. And then add on the fact he lost his belt, that even that made it even worse. And now, you know, when he talks, he's like delusional with a lot of his things that he says. You know, so it's like, where does he go? Is 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 he going downhill? Or can he manage to fix it? And unfortunately, I don't think he got people in his corner that's gonna really get him out of his slump. I mean you can get out of your mental slump. And Ryan Garcia had, was having similar issues. He managed to override it and overcome it. And uh, to be real though, but suckers like, Ryan, he got a he got a solid family. His mother and father is his like support system. They're not his yes men. They're his support system. Tiafimo Lopez don't look like he really have a support system. He look like he has a yes man, his father, and a bunch of other like, little minions around him. You know the, the the money, you know the leeches, the money leeches, rather as family or friends. And it's sad though. Really think about it, man. You know there's there's people that don't make half the money that these boxers make, and they gotta go through stuff like that. Have family trying to pick it, pick every, pick pick all of the crumbs off the table. You know, pick every bit of money that they got out out their pockets and stuff like that. Just there to just. Leech and leech and take and take and you know what I'm saying? Can you imagine what these dudes that got billions of dollars, you know what I'm saying, what they gotta go through. You know, but um Yeah, yeah. Then the wife situation, man, you know, this is like he just seems like a weak dude, real fragile, almost like beta bellish, and then he puts on a, a, a alpha mentality. You know what I mean? Maybe he got a little bit of alpha in him somewhere. But the beta is just taking over all the alpha. Maybe that's what it is with Tiafimo Lopez, man. But he is. He's mentally broken, bro. Just by him saying in the ring that he still got it. You questioning yourself in a sport, a dangerous sport like this, get you killed, get you hurt, real bad. You know. So I really don't know what he could do. He could try to get himself out of that situation. Cause he ain't got nobody solid behind him, bro. You can see his father is just a what are the better what are the problems that his life is his father, dude. Like the things that he do, you know, bad directions in the ring, you know, all type of stuff. Lying to him, saying that this is he winning a fight, you know, all kind of weirdo stuff, you know. So all of that plays a toll. And like I said, the belts, bro. When you got the belts, man, you, you saw how he was when he had the belts. You saw Every chance he get, he was like this. Pictures with the belts. He, he tried to take a picture like he was undisputed. He really thought he was undisputed, bro. He tried to take, you know, he got into the picture with Canelo Alvarez. What was it, Alvarez? Was it Usyk? I think it was just, it was them, right? I don't remember. I know it was Canelo holding his belts. And here come Tio. They say Canelo asked him to take the picture with him. No, he wanted to. He, come on. And then he lose to Cambosis, somebody that. He lost to his mandatory that nobody expected him to lose to. <laughs> you know what I mean? That shit bothered him, bro. Look at the end of that fight. The end of the fight. He was clearly disturbed by the outcome of that fight. He thinks he won that fight. Now, I made a previous video where he said that if he loses his fight with Josh Taylor, he's going to attack everybody on site. Why he didn't do it that night? If, if he had to do it, that should have been the night right there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But 
Yeah, I'm off this, man. I got... Yo, holla at me. Let me know what you think about Tiafimo Lopez. Do you think he's mentally broken? Drop a comment. Let me know how you feel, bro. This is Rebel Life Boxing. I'll catch y'all later. And I'm off this. Peace.